was asked by my grandparents as a young teenager to travel with them back to the old home country. Uh, they actually came over to the United States in 1952 as refugees from a war-torn World War II. And they were displaced all over the country. They were looking forward to a new home and a new beginning. Uh, they left some of their family members behind because of the way the, um, the communists took place and eastern part of Germany was blocked off. So my uh, aunt and her family remained on that in that eastern block. So I was asked to go and spend the summer as a young teenager and experience uh, the home country. And I was so excited, never been on an airplane before. And we went to, uh, flew over in Lufthansa, flew over to East Germany. My first ex experience of, uh, of freedom caged and contained was at the uh, Berlin Wall at Charlie Checkpoint. It was very frightening to me, um, an experience I will never forget, uh, because from a country where we could travel from state to state, uh, talk about anything we wanted to, wear anything we wanted to, sing anything we wanted to, play anything we wanted to, to none of that. It was like comparing a black and white photo to living color. It was oppressive, to say the least. I spent the summer there. Um, everything that you can imagine, go government controlled, from the house you lived in to who lived in the house. If you had a big house, my aunt's home was split into four living quarters, one of which was a family member who worked for KGB. And they had their eyes on on us from America because we were a discussion, we were an item. We wanted, they wanted to know what we were talking about. And so imagine that eyeballs are following you all over the place. That to me is what can happen when government gets out of control and the consent of the people is totally ignored. And so the impact of our Constitution is vitally important that we hold to the, um, the blessings of liberty that our founders, uh, the spirit and the intent of the Constitution, set out to, to give to us an incredible feat. I'm amazed at the fact that this document was, was written and uh, was developed and written and voted on and put into, into effect in one room in a matter of days by members of, of founding fathers that had morality and virtue in place and realize that this document could only survive on those two ingredients. So uh, I think it is very important that we tell our story. I could go on and on about my story, but we all have a story of why the Constitution is vital to us. Uh, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is freedom. And our founders understood that as well because our very first amendment to that Constitution was the, the religious liberties and freedoms that we have to express ourselves uh, in the public square. And we've got to protect these things. And so I think it's important that, uh, why I'm very excited about 917, is that we realize the importance of that. If we don't keep the stories alive, it can be diminished. It'd be like a song that would be heralded over the mountaintop and then all of a sudden you don't hear that song anymore, you don't hear that, that story anymore. And it's important to teach our children why we want to protect the liberties, the blessings of liberty that we have been given. And I'm reminded too, I kind of put everything into a song or verse chorus form, and I'm reminded of the old song, uh, Joni Mitchell, don't it always seem to go, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. When I went as that young teenager to experience a country controlled by communism and a constant contained uh, government, I think every individual should have to experience that because it will leave a footprint on your heart like none other. It'll give you the passion, it'll give you the courage, the stamina to stand up and speak truth to power when it comes to liberties being taken away. And unfortunately, our schools, you know, I talk to, I go to my schools every two years and I talk to kids and they have no idea about the spirit and intent of our papers, of our constitution and why it's important. And they need, again, to be told the story. And so that is where I feel that we as adults now, uh, I'm a grandmother, that I speak those, those um, encouraging 
intense and the spirit of our Constitution and, and speak that to our kids so that they can continue the story because they're our future. And again, we live in a wonderful country. I remember coming back from, from my visit in, um, in East Germany in a little town called Zittau. And back then we didn't have the terminals. And so the plane would land on the, uh, on the airport uh, pavement and roll out the steps. And I could see my daddy way over yonder waiting on me because he was anxious to see me and wanted to hear my story, what, what I felt. And I got off that stairway, got down to the pavement, and literally kissed the ground. I was so thankful that I was able to live, that I was raised, born and raised, in this country, and the patriotism, the love that I have for, my, have for my country is big. Daddy told me a story when he came over, he was 12 years old, when they came over on a USS naval ship, and they came to Ellis Island, and, the very, and he could barely see over the rail, he was 12 years old, and he and his siblings, and he could barely see the Statue of Liberty. And he was very moved as a 12 year old of what he had experienced you know, during the war. And he was looking forward to be able to come to a country where they embraced them, to embrace our constitution, to embrace our way of life, to embrace our principles and our values. And he was excited to do that. And he, to this day, he's 78 years old, and Daddy says, you know, Terry Lynn, I am not a German American. He says, I am an American. And, uh, that story resonates to me. We are all Americans and we need to protect what we have been graciously given and blessed to live in. And that's why the Constitution is very important and has a huge impact on my ideology and, and the importance of protecting it and seeing it lived and worked out in the, in the generations to come. The importance of handing every child a pocket constitution in our schools is vital because it gives us something to, to resort to. It emphasizes to our children that we the people, we're the government. You know, it says that in here. And, and government cannot, cannot grow without the consent of the people. And that means these children are going to be adults and they need to know that, that, that government is governed by the consent of the people. And that, to me, is why I think it's important that every one of these children have this to read. And it's, it's written in a fact that a third grader could actually read it, which is another reason why I think it's so vital for them to have, too. We're always going to need funds to, to buy these little pocket guys here and get them in the hands of our kids. And that's a start. And anything that you can do is so appreciated. And so I would encourage you to get involved. Uh, tell your story also. Do not forget, because we all have stories to tell. Then conquer we must, when our cause it is just. And this be our motto, in God is our trust. Then the star-spangled banner in triumph shall wave.